Hey folks, and my friends in Facebook land. Uh, had a couple messages, well, a few messages from people wanting to see a longer tour of my uh, of my backyard tiki slash adventurer slash pirate bar named for my father, which I call Tortuga Sam's. So, um, so this is it. So you don't have to watch, if you've been here or if you've seen all the pictures and stuff, you don't have to sit through the whole thing, but it, this is in relation to our house. That's where our house is. So we have our, sorry, I'm trying not to move too quick so everybody doesn't get sick, but here's the pergola. Uh, Commodore Esmeralda back there, courtesy of John and Lydia, and Jack the Monkey, courtesy of McKay, one of my coworkers, and painted by Leslie. When we first got her, she was in really bad shape. Leslie painted her, gave her a whole new paint job, made her look nice, garden of treasure right there. So, Commodore Esmeralda. Now, here is the bar relation to everything so we're gonna start going real slow through here um, I'll do a circular thing and then we'll wind up back at Commodore Esmeralda this is a great barrel cooler that John and Lydia got for us Ooh, there's still a sandwich in there from last night oh <laughs> okay anyways yeah and so you can enter the bar from either through this archway or through the backyard the lawn right over here so um, have various seating areas such as here and here so this is what I call the adventurer jungle cruise area and oh just in time for the fog to go up this is my lava floor That is on a peekaboo system that Mike Knust rigged up for me. Sets off the fog machine, which is run by lights. Well, I'm sorry, run by, um, I have a hose in the ground. So every 10 minutes or so it goes off, pumps the fog through. It's been the hit so far. So we'll come back to this area. Uh, this is a pond, it's one of those pond liners and I put together, well, we had it, and I put together with the rocks and everything on the side. First that we picked up in Cambria, the elephant there. See right there, and then various pilings, different things. And my friend Karen, who I did Goblin's Glen with, she donated some stuff to us. So, okay, seating area there. Then I just have some lights strung across, going across here. Kind of sets a tone. I, you know, that famous uh, Walt Disney quote, uh, Disneyland will never be complete as long as there's imagination left in the world. Well, this started as my COVID project and kind of just went from there. And many props to my wife, Leslie, for letting me kind of Kind of seek my muse or, or follow my muse or, or what have you. Uh, Captain Kelly's Corner, named after my friend Kelly. Kelly Priest, his little getaway area. Uh, this is also the smoking area, so got everything set up here. Uh, the art gallery is new, I just did this this year. Um, various piratey types of pictures there. I know it's dark, but hopefully you can kind of see the theme, what I'm going for, what I'm trying to do, seating area here. So there, and then, you know, I tried to decorate it like a captain's galley or it's, it's a resting quarters or what have you, so. Yeah, everybody just kind of comes back here, sits down, chills out. I spend a lot of time back here, especially when it's hot during the summer. I'll have a seat, have a rum and coke, just relax. We've got our captain right there. All the newly added 
just added that. Added these mirror pieces. There's one here, one on the other side. Um, I just did this porthole. This was a clock that I picked up at Goodwill. So I gutted it, put everything inside, and lit it. So, uh, there's me and Scarlett, the redhead from uh, Pirates of the Caribbean when I got to do a behind the scenes tour. Um, and I found this painting which reminded me a lot of our very own Commodore Esmeralda out there. So she lives here in Captain Kelly's quarters or Captain Kelly's corner. I don't know if you can hear it. I've got the beach sounds piped in. That's off the peekaboo that, again, Mike Canoost rigged up for me. So we're gonna scoot back out this way. And then we have Goddess Pele. That was a Barbie doll nail thing, you know, where you could paint her nails and stuff. Uh, Leslie repainted her for me. So we got Pele. Giant skull there. Uh, mermaid skeleton. And then we'll pull back, get you another shot of the lava floor. Right there. And what the heck, let's see. Set it off again. Oh, this fountain right here. We found at a store called Not So sh Not Too Shabby um, in Campbell. Uh, then different little. I just put this lamp together right here. Just other little things. Um, this piece right here. This is a Halloween mask. Uh, plastic swords, guns, hands. I bought the these pieces right here. These were candle holders I found at Goodwill. So, and then just, you know, other odds and ends for behind the bar. So hopefully some cool stuff. I, I always like to have things for people to look at. And I love it when people go, oh, Stu, I didn't notice that before. I go, you didn't? Oh, cool. Because it wasn't there. So, all right. So let's sit off the lava floor again. I have a switch back here. That sets off the switch, the lights, and the smoke. Okay, now moving right along. One of my absolute favorite parts, the sign that my friend Peter Overstreet did for me, my favorite quote from Pirates of the Caribbean, not all treasure is silver and gold, mate. And I think we all know what that means. So, and then over to my, oh, this was a find last year. Out antiquing, we found this in Santa Cruz. Thought he was really cool. Then my tiki mask wall. Um, I have Govi lights behind the tiki masks and solar lights and some of the other tikis. shot of the tiki masks okay so we're gonna pull back here continue down our wall then we've got hard to see but there's an anchor that Kurt and Anita got for us more pilings kind of my little tribute to the enchanted tiki room right there I need to like this better Unfortunately, it's like 10:30 at night, so a lot of the some of the solar lights they didn't. I have a lot of stuff that by solar, I and they're. Uh, ooh. Could you try again? Oh no, that's okay. Thank you, Siri. Um, yeah, their charges run out, so. Okay, I think that's. Oh my God, it's almost 10 minutes. If you've made it all the way to the end, uh, myself and the Commodore, we both thank you, and Jack, thank you for taking this little tour of. Tortuga Sam's. Thanks a lot, everybody, and thank you for being my friend on Facebook. Okay, have a good night. Bye bye.